What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful day whenever you are watching this video. Everyone, I'm in a hotel room because we're out in Arizona for Christie's bodybuilding show. And by the time you all see this, she will most likely have posted her video of her bodybuilding show on her channel. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. So I'm hanging out right now in our hotel room. Christie's actually downstairs doing her workout for the night. I already worked out. I ran 18 miles today. So guess what? I'm a little hungry and I figured it was time for me to try out Fat Burger for the very first time. I've heard a lot of great things about Fat Burger over the years, but I've never actually gotten around to trying it. So I figured, you know what? Fat Burger was nearby. I ordered some tasty Fat Burger items. I actually got a lot of Fat Burger items, and I'm very excited to try all these items and let you all know whether they are worth it or whether they are not worth it. Without further ado, everybody, it's time for round number one. And if you have tried it before, let me know what your opinion is of Fat Burger down below in the comments. First things first, we have our fries from Fat Burger. Now, Fat Burger has steak fries and they have these fries, which they call skinny fries. To be honest, I think it's hilarious that they have skinny fries at a place called Fat Burger, but I think that's actually part of the joke. So, we're gonna try out their skinny fries first. That is incredibly basic. Okay, it's actually much better with the salt. They're not bad. My verdict on the skinny fries is that they shouldn't need all that salt to taste good. Now, I happen to be a steak fry connoisseur, so I'm actually really excited to get the steak fries. Mmm. Steak fries are much better than their skinny fries. Verdict on the fries, skinny fries are not worth it. The steak fries are definitely worth it. Next, I'm incredibly excited to try out these. Oh. If you know me, you know that I love Sweet potato fries, they're one of my favorite things in the entire world. And like, you can't really get sweet potato fries at most fast food places nowadays. In fact, like there are very, very, very few fast food places that actually have sweet potato fries. I'm more of a sweet potato fry connoisseur than I am a steak fry connoisseur. So let's try these out. <sighs> sweet potato fries are interesting. I want to like them a lot but I feel like there's just not enough like flavor to them. I'm not even gonna bother putting salt on them, but I would just say they're just pretty good. So we're gonna put these off to the side and then we're gonna get on over to another thing that I'm very excited about. Now we have onion rings right here. I just gotta say the last few items, like especially the sweet potato fries have been incredibly soggy. And I know that, you know, sometimes food gets soggy from fast food places, but like the onion rings I had from Culver's were definitely not soggy. I don't have high hopes for these, but oh well. Very basic. All right, so the onion rings are just not doing it for me, all right? I still like them, but like they're they're just not something I would order again. Like so far, the steak fries have been the best thing, but our appetizer here, that's gonna be our biggest appetizer, is going to be the chili cheese fries. Actually, before I try the chili cheese fries, I'm gonna try the ranch. I mean, if the ranch is good, then we'll be all right. All right, the ranch is actually not that bad. It doesn't make the fries any better though. I feel like I should have a utensil for this, but I don't. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Oh man. I don't even like chili, and these fries are good. Everybody, oh sh Everybody, I gotta say, the chili cheese fries are the best side at Fat Burger. The least best side, which is me saying the worst side, is definitely the regular fries. Definitely not a fan of the onion rings, but the steak fries and the chili cheese fries are superb. Now everybody, it's time for the main event. It's time for round number two. Fucking damn it, dude. No. Apparently I was super hungry the night I recorded this video because the next 20 minutes after the last clip you watched, I realized that my camera wasn't recording. Uh. There's only been two other times in recent memory where I've filmed and I haven't pressed record. And you would think that as a YouTuber, I would know about like that, but um, I'm an idiot. So it would just be a shame for me to not finish this video because I, you know, got into the second round and I wasn't recording. <clears throat> that is upsetting. Well, you guys see one burger, two burgers, and then burgers back here. So um, we would just pretend like these are actually fresh. Like I just pulled these out of the bags and that they don't have like a bunch of bites in them. I'm gonna pretend like I haven't had them yet, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna get into right here, guys, just, just, just we're gonna use our imagination here, all right? 
This is a burger called the Veggie Burger. Haven't had this before. I'm gonna try it out for you guys right now. There's a reason this only had one bite. Because <laughs> it was not good. I had a bunch more things I wanted to say about that, but you know what, everybody? I'm just not gonna say them. Because I got a veggie burger from Fat Burger. What I should have done is gotten the Impossible Burger. Because we all know the Impossible Burger is actually pretty good. A lot of people will just give me heat for that, but it is, it is good. Now, I ordered the chicken sandwich. And the chicken sandwich, let me get into the chicken sandwich because I've never had it before, all right? It's not bad. There are definitely much better fast food chicken sandwiches out there, but Fat Burger doesn't do a bad job at their chicken sandwich. And it's even tastier with ranch. Their chicken sandwich gets my thumbs up for sure. But now everybody, we have the actual Fat Burgers themselves. Now I ordered the biggest Fat Burger you can actually get on their menu. And as you can see, I got it. I definitely got into it. I mean, there is so much meat on that fat burger. But before I got into that, I had their original fat burger right here. Now, their original fat burger seems to just come with lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and relish. It's very unusual for me to see relish on a fast food burger. So here we go. Never had this before. It's a tasty burger. Now everybody, the star of the show is their biggest burger on the menu. This is the Triple XL Burger. And I just gotta say right now, this is probably the most meat you will find on any fast food burger in the world of fast food. Like this thing, I'm not even sure how many calories are in this thing, but it is massive. Patties are just huge. Let's just go ahead and uh, get into this again. It is good, very good. My overall opinion on that burger is that it's massive and that it's super tasty. And I would 100% say that it's worth it. Unfortunately, the veggie burger is definitely not worth it. The chicken sandwich, I would say is actually worth it. But their original burgers, they do it so well. The meat is seasoned amazingly. The patties are amazing. But with the first round, Fat Burger definitely took an L in the first round. Second round, they redeemed themselves. But overall, Fat Burger gets my seal of approval because they're Fat Burger and they definitely do their burgers right. If you agree with me, let me know down below. And while you're letting me know down below, I'm going to get to an item that I've never had before. I actually had it, but I wasn't recording. I bought two of them just in case I wanted to have like two of them, but I had only one of them. And so I have the second one right here. I decided not to get dessert at Fat Burger because the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Big Cup with Reese's Puffs has just arrived. And I just saw it at the store and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna get dessert tonight at Fat Burger. I am gonna have some Reese's with Reese's Puffs in them and I am very excited to try these out. It just blows my mind that we now have Reese's Peanut Butter Cups with Reese's Puffs in them. That's just absolutely crazy. Let's see if these are gonna be tasty, because I've never had them before. That crunch is so good. <clears throat> Inside look for you guys right there. Everyone, like I mentioned earlier, let me know down below what you all think of Fat Burger. Do you agree with my opinion on Fat Burger? And let me know what your favorite item is at Fat Burger. While you're down below in the comments, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.